spread of AIDS. Details coming up on 9 News at Noon. for a big treat today. My special guest is the lady who paved the way for somebody like me to be doing what I am doing today. So imagine how excited I am to have her here. She hosted her own talk show for over a decade. And <sighs> I'd swear she had everybody on but God. Of course, now, I did not see the show every single day. Her talk show was on top of a long, successful career as an actress, recording star, and host of her own primetime variety show. We're going to have a lot to talk about today. Also with us is one of her good friends, a great dancer and a movie star. I absolutely love him. Donald O'Connor is here. Plus, we have a surprise or two because, you know, we are the surprise show. Right now, it is time to bring out a very special lady. Uh, one name is all you really need for her, but I'm going to give you both of them anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, Dinah Shore. They'll applaud anything. Uh, I walk listen. in in my tennis shoes. Vicki, you look so nice. You look like the athlete that you are. Is no, what you look I could have like worn. I, okay. You could have. You could have worn of your course. tap shoes. You could have yes, worn, worn my tap inch, shoes. Uh, heels. Oh, those are adorable. But you're like ready to golf and do things and be an yes, athlete. I am. You know what? I have to tell you, when we were in the process of of getting the show together and selling it. Several people said to me, you are the Dinah for the 90s. And I said, my God, I cannot think of a nicer compliment. Isn't that nice? Yes. The Dinah for the 90s. Of course, you're still here, so I'll Where does that put me? I, I was just, no, I was going to say, maybe I'll be the Dinah for the uh, 2000s. Or, yes, that's oh it. My yeah. God. Oh, God. That's no. a frightening we'll thing. We'll do it together. How did you get the name? Dinah's not your real name. I didn't, I didn't know that. Know that. I, you didn't know that? I never My knew name that. is Francis Rose Shore. But nobody ever called me Frances Rose. And when I got to New York City, you know this story. No, I don't. It's a dumb long story. Is it? Well, well, I was a kid, and I was on my way home from summer camp. And I stopped in New York City, and a fellow named Martin Block, who was a disc jockey, had a great big uh, show on uh, they call the Maple Leaf Ballroom, yeah. one of the original. It was, was the original. And they had an audition for live singers. You know, not dead ones, just live. <laughs> yeah, well, they had yeah. a bunch of live singers. Hard and there to were audition about, a dead singer. Uh, uh, 14 people sitting around. And I had sung my song, which was uh, uh, you know, a bunch of things that I knew from home. D I thought you sang Dinah. No? She ruined the whole story. Oh, did I? <laughs> well, no, it's OK. Just go back. It's Pretend okay. you didn't hear Stop. that. Pretend you didn't. Hear no, 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 no. Actually, I did. That was part of the audition. So I sang Dinah, and I came. The Martin Block walked out, and he said, you, Dinah, you come over here. And I looked. I knew, I knew, you know. You knew you were Francis. Yeah, I said, you know, I thought, well, that's nice. And he said, Dinah, you. And all these other 14, 13, 12, whatever it was, look, looking at me, and I said, me. <laughs> And he took me in, and I never became Francis again, never saw the name again, never wanted to. That was it. I hated Fanny Rose Shore. Fanny? Fanny. That's what your family called you, Fanny? Fanny, Fanny Rose. So you feel comfortable when people call you Dinah? Oh, yeah. yeah well, I, and there are a lot of other names that I feel less yeah, comfortable Yeah, same with. here. That's right. Yeah. You are, uh, have made the list of the 10 most admired women in the world. I have. See, now, if I'm going to be dying for the 90s, i got a lot you got, to live yeah. up to here. Well, who, you, you who know, else is on the list? It just depends on who you want to admire. You who, know. who makes up this list? Uh, a bunch of horny old men or what? <laughs> God, I used to think so. I'm not sure now. <laughs> Wait, I, I didn't check into where this list came yes, from. That's right. I don't know, probably Mr. Blackwell. Who knows? No, you've made that list too, the best dress. No, Mr. Blackwell's the worst dress. Were you on I that one I, too? Oh, sure, I made them all. <laughs> See, I have so much yet to do. I know it. Oh, listen, don't worry about it. You can make the 
the I can worst make the dress, worst dress. You can make the worst dress with your with your best Armani suit. Doesn't matter. I can you? Yeah, I can make it at home any day of the week. Oh. That's for sure. But um, you now the ten most admired women in the in the world, well, now, like yeah. with Queen Elizabeth <laughs> and Jacqueline O'Neill. She's having a problem. She's having a problem now. <laughs> Princess Grace. She already they had, already her had problem. a problem. <laughs> How, how, what is the, how do you get on that? How do you feel about being on that list? How do I feel do about it? Do you laugh? A little nervous now. <laughs> now that we've discussed it in depth. Yes, gee whiz. Now, mother of the year? Mother, don't tell my kids that. <laughs> what do you have to do to be mother of the year? Mother of the year? Just to remember the kids' names, take them to school, <laughs> take them to school every once in a while, make sure they, uh, Stay in school. Now, were yeah. the kids little when you were Mother of the Year? Mother of the Year, they, they were little and then a little bit bigger. I got to be Mother of the Year a couple of times. They ran out of, who knows? These were just wonderful well, no, kids. I'm just always curious because, like, Kathy Lee Gifford was Mother of the Year last year, wasn't she? Probably. Well, yeah, my goodness. Yeah, and the baby was just born. I know, but you see, there you got, that's tough. I mean, that's tougher when they But she hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> I mean, oh, having them is the easy Vicky, part. That's hard. What are you talking about? Well, it's, yeah, the, the hard, well, the, it's so, hard having them, but you, the hard part is getting them through the teenage and I didn't land, quite do that too the, well, but world. I've got the greatest kids in the world now. You do now. Where are your kids now? Melissa is living in Idlewild up in, in the mountains up near Palm Springs. Yeah. And she has three spectacular, beautiful, one, I mean, really bright kids, much better mother than I. Are they grandbabies now, or are they how old? Oh, no, no, they're my, my daughter has children. Yeah, but so do you have grandbabies? Or do you have grandkids, or grand teenagers, or what do you have? I think that I've got a funny name, they call me Mima. Anything, so it won't be I, We have a friend that does, uh, does Mima, too. That's very Southern. Yeah. Uh, anything, you know, but then uh, Jody, my, that's my son Jody, he married to Katie, and they live up in uh, Madison, Wisconsin for the time being. And uh, he, they are really nice people with a great sense of humor you have to have to be married. To get know, through this uh, whole to, mess, don't That's you? right, to have lived with a mother in show business and a whole life in show business. But that's my motto, life is much. There. I'll get See? it. See? <laughs> Go ahead, kids, laugh. Yeah, that's the kids' back. No, my motto is life is much too serious to be taken seriously, so you must laugh. Oh, that's or great. you'll slit your wrist. That's, that's right. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Now, you know what? You were dubbed the hostess with the mostess for... A what? Yeah, what does that mean? How did that happen? Well, maybe it's uh, durability. Maybe it's uh, throwing big parties. And that, I mean, they cost a lot, Vicki. But you did all the cooking parties. yourself, right? Huh? You, if you do all the cooking yourself, it doesn't uh, oh, certainly. cost nearly as much. <laughs> sure she does. No, now, did the hostess with the mostest, did that have anything to do with Nabisco? Uh, no, I think that had a lot to do with the show and with Nabisco. Yeah. But uh, it's easy when you had all those cookies going. To be the, you know, the hostess for the I most. know, and we're going to, we got a lot of that stuff here today. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to yeah, pass out all that stuff over. later. I you so. like, but here, like. Yeah, got, there you are. Yeah, these, the nice folks. Zings, I don't Nabisco know, Zings. wanted you to. Oh, This yeah. was their way of saying hi to you. Zings and, and low salt wheat thins, that'll be good for us. Where's a zing? Oh, what? I've never seen a zing. Neither have I. You want to taste his? <laughs> They got those zings nailed down so we won't get into them, but they don't know you and me. But then, don't, don't forget an Oreo. I love Oreos, but we need milk to go with Oreos, don't we? Well, I know I just have Let's a, see what the I deal just is split them the and zings. have them plain. And that she, she, she does those things. That's what the way you That's the way you get to be the hostess. The Did you hostess care for with, a zing? <laughs> Oh, look, they're little Z's. Little? Oh, look how cute. Yeah, but where? Oh, little things. See, that's the way you get to be the Zings hostess with the most. Zings are 70 calories each. You never open them and just keep it and save it. Heat them up a little 70 bit. 70 calories for 15 crackers with 3 grams of fat. <laughs> well, oh, they're good, mm, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Zings Herbs are good. in them. We'll be back. A new product, folks. Yeah, see, <laughs> these are good. We're, when we come back, we're going to meet one of Dinah's favorite guys and a man who has been singing and dancing his way into all of our hearts for as long as I can remember. And we couldn't have Dinah here without, of course, getting into the kitchen with her. So stay with us. We're going to see what's cooking when we come back.
Carol, you bake this cheesecake. Mm -mm. I want the recipe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not me. I'll wait till they come up with a nice, easy mix. All right, a mix with real cherries? Come on. Jell-O cheesecake, now with real fruit topping. You know, I hear Jell-O makes a good cheesecake. The average elephant weighs 12,000 pounds. The average person puts 250 times that much weight on their feet every day. The average shoe just wasn't designed to take this kind of pressure. Which is why Dr. Scholz didn't create the average insoles. Using space-age materials, Dr. Scholz has created its new line of insoles and inserts to give your shoes revolutionary support, cushioning, and shock absorption. Make life in your shoes more comfortable with Dr. Scholz. table for the very first time, it's Gerber Graduates, the first complete line of table foods custom made for toddlers. Toddlers need more iron than adults. Our cereal snacks have lots more iron. They're starting to feed themselves, so our veggies are diced just the right size. All our foods made just for them and made just right. Gerber Graduates, the food just right for toddlers. Most people are experts on something they like. Moi. I'm an expert on grease, something I hate. So anything that might clean grease, you name it, I tried it. Of course, all that trying stopped when I found Dawn. Dawn's the best at breaking up grease and taking it away. Did I say cleaning grease? I meant repelling. Better at getting grease off. Dawn's also better at keeping grease from getting back on. Grease experts, hey. Takes one to know one. Dawn takes grease out of your way. My Lenders Bagels. You know, I start my day every day with a toasted Lenders Bagel. This is what I was craving. And a few grams of fat. Nothing like a Lenders Bagel. Lenders Bagels. First you crave, then you rave. Diana, you're on. Oh, okay. Now, aren't you just as excited about our great new star as I am? In your Chevrolet, the Rockies way out west are calling you. Drive your Chevrolet through the USA, where fields of golden wheat fast and review. Whether traveling lighter with a load that's heavy, performance is sweeter, nothing can beat her. Life is completer in a Chevy. So make a taste today to see the USA and see. multi-talented Dinah Shore, and it's, it song still works, doesn't it? Where did you, oh, where did you find that? I've never seen that clip. We did a lot and of I've digging. And I've seen a, I bet. <laughs> this was back in the 50s, yes? You, you did you that. You to say that. But <laughs> you did that stuff you can still be the, You can still be the Dinah of the 90s. Just make that the 60s or 70s or something. <laughs> So back then in the 70s, yes, early. you did that stuff live, didn't you? Yeah, everything. Everything? But that, was, that was a different lyric. I never heard that lyric Neither before. did I. I was going to sing along, and I went, whoa, very impressive lyrics we've got. That, that was the second verse. We never did more than this much of the song, you know, because the, the way it happened was we started out with a whole song, and we were late, the first show, and the producer kept going like this. Well, I didn't know whether he was trying to slit his throat. I thought it was a better show. But... And he's going like this. And finally, I sang, See the USA in your Chevrolet. America's asking you to call. Right. Drive your Chevrolet through the USA. America's the greatest land of all. Mwah! And he said, thank you. And I, and I kept saying, ba 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 da ba da ba da ba da ba yeah, that's the only lyric I ever knew. I was going to sing along with this, but I didn't know. Now, did you, did you prefer live, or did you like it when you graduated into tape? And uh... We did mostly live all my life. I've really been live. Yeah, well, I your don't... talk show was like a live yeah. show. I yep. remember, live on tape. I remember well, coming we... to do it uh, sure. a number of times. And, I've, and I have often said in, uh, and I'll say it again, because everybody credits Phil Donahue with being the father of the modern talk show. And I always say, no, I feel like my predecessors are more Dinah, or a Merv. That, that's what I'm doing, I think. And it was always like going over to visit 
my my sister or my aunt or you know it was always fun and comfortable and yeah of me when I was 12 and you were 23. <laughs> that it's, it's from me on your show. I believe okay. this is, this is actually from, okay. this is last year, I believe, actually. Yes. Let's, let's take a look at this. Where do you like to be kissed? <laughs> Am I allowed to say? <laughs> Uh, I don't <laughs> I love, it gives me chills to be kissed on the neck. Did that, that's, yeah, that's, did I get yeah, out of that, that one? No, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> that's adorable. You look the same, but who was I doing? Sure. Who was I, was I, was I doing? Sure, I look the same. That was adorable. Who was I doing? I don't, well, Jane you, Fonda? No. No, Sandy Duncan. Sandy Duncan? A little bit. Sammy Davis, maybe. Oh. I don't know what I was doing there. What the, my dark glasses and everything. What the hell was I doing? What do you think of talk shows today? Do you watch any of them? Oh, sure. Uh, they make me nervous. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we are too inquiring today. We're too curious today. We're too uh, prying. I don't quite want to know the sex life of the uh, Brazilian gnat, you know, <laughs> as compared with that. I mean, I have never in my life seen the, the subjects that they take up in order to be more sensational than the last. And I think Phil holds the line very well. I think Oprah is wonderful. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of good talk shows. I love you. But the shows are, I've gotten, they are fine and they're wonderful and they're knowledge inspiring. I'm sure we learn a lot, but it's a lot more than I wanted to learn. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, on a lighter side, here's something from, oh, probably last year too, and I want to see if you recognize it. Where, where's Dinosaur Surprise? Where is it? Here it is, here it comes. <laughs> do you, do you, do you recognize that thing there, that no. dress? You don't? No, it's one of my better dresses. I don't know, I think it's hysterical. I, do I don't too. even know where we found this damn thing. Where'd we find it, in the I, Smithsonian? Listen, where, you wore you, this, you know? She finds everything. I know. That little girl you just questioned just now Bonnie finds Tito. everything. She's one of Thank my nosy producers. God, you didn't want to know a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> the, you wore this on your show in 1957, jog that memory. Probably. Probably made by Robert Carlton. Is that who it like? would be? Yeah. It's hysterical. I think it's back in fashion, actually. I think so. For everything, comes, what goes around comes around. <laughs> I know, it's a frightening thing. It's scaring the hell out of me. Bell, you, got, you don't have your bell bottoms on. You're supposed to be wearing bell bottoms and a, and a midriff halter it. now and I your love it. beads and, and you're not with it, Dinah. Listen, we're going to bring out a buddy of yours now. What, darling? We are going to bring out a buddy of yours now. Oh, he I is, have one left? You Great. do. You do. You have one left. He's one of the brightest stars in movies and TV. He's a legend. He's... One of my all-time favorite dancers, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Donald O'Connor. Oh. Vicky, families that sing together stay together. I'm feeling a little underdressed. I ordered one of those uh, rhinestone things through the mail, you know, and I just kind of went crazy. It's the Osmonds, still performing after 35 years. Am I getting old or are they? And the secret behind Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr.'s 23-year marriage. And I looked at him one day and I said, hmm. Legendary pop families on the next Vicky.
is upset because it, she doesn't have it. Sam Kinison's ex-sister-in-law wants to sell you the video of his final performance. And that makes Kinison's widow furious. Don't miss the next Inside Edition. Tonight at 7 on KCAL TV, California 9. Music's biggest stars join Lisa Hartman Black and Mac Davis for an in-depth look at a tribute fit for the king. America comes to Graceland. Saturday night at 9 on KCAL TV Channel 9. I was shopping at Thrifty Drugs when I saw this new grease-releasing tie. I figured it was worth a try. I had this really tough hamburger stain on my new blouse. There was grease all over. My friend Jan felt terrible. When it comes to tough grease like this hamburger stain, nothing beats the power of new Tide with grease releasers. Now at a great price at Thrifty Drugs. The grease was gone. I told Jan this new Tide got it out. That didn't surprise her, but the great price did. Try new Tide with grease releasers now at Thrifty Drugs. Lose weight, gain it back. Lose weight, gain more back. Are you caught up in the yo-yo syndrome? I was able to cross my legs for the first time. When I went in, I was borderline diabetic, high blood pressure, thyroid was just, I was a mess. Now everything is below where it's supposed to be. Stop the yo-yo syndrome. Call Coastal Center for Obesity if you are 75 to 100 pounds overweight and conventional weight control has not worked. I was in an accident and I couldn't get any satisfaction from the insurance company, so I called Larry Parker and they got me a nice settlement fast. I was in a motorcycle accident. Larry Parker fought for me and got me $125,000. I would recommend Larry Parker to anyone. Serious auto injuries require serious legal attention. That's why I fight for you. I'm Larry H. Parker. I'm nearby and the call is free. 1-800-333-0000. Larry Parker got me $2.1 million. As you might have noticed, I started tapping a long time ago. In fact... Hey! Hiya, Jesse. Hey, Mr. Alcano. Would you like to dance with me? Sure. Okay. Want to do the heel together? Sure. Think you're going too fast for me. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> In the world, dinosaur, and joining us is the is extraordinary she? Donald O'Connor. You guys are buddies, yeah? Oh yeah. yes. Where did you meet? Well, I really I don't remember where we first met. We've done so many things together, you know, over the oh, years. I I wrote them all. <laughs> I wrote them all. I wrote them all down so we could go over all of them and. Well, we didn't do much after all, but, <laughs> well, we did. but we, we've known each other forever. I, uh, we did a movie together. You yes. did? Yes, well, separately, you did that little piece in there, and Peggy Ryan and I did a piece and Follow right. the Boys, right? That's right. That's but right. Made 1906. <laughs> really. But we also, last year, played in a great, great golf tournament for, the, for St. John's Hospital. You know, yes, and it raises money for a great fun, and on, for some strange, miraculous reason, they allowed us to play together with Mike Connors, and who was that for? Uh, it wasn't Billy Barty. I no, it wasn't Billy sure. Barty. We played, and it, we were the worst. It was the most beautiful oh, golfer. We were the worst team ever, because we. <laughs> We couldn't but, stop laughing. I was going to say, because you were so busy laughing. It was funny. It really was. He's, yeah. a, good, he's a good golfer. And one time, I'm standing there, and I'm putting sunblock on. It's hot. And I'm putting sunblock on, and I, and I suddenly look up, and Mike Connors, who's really a good golfer, stands up. Oh, Artie Johnson was up. Artie, Artie Johnson. Tries right. to take a swing. <laughs> and I, did, I just happened to glance up, and he, he whipped the ball. Totally. Totally. And yeah. I fell down, started to laugh, <laughs> and Donald started to laugh, and Artie started to laugh, and, every, and, Mike, and Mike said, what do you suppose happened? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't win. No, we didn't. Listen. But you we, had we, a great we, we, time. We didn't even come in last. Oh, no. Uh, you know, but with Dinah, I, I did her, I think I was her first guest on the Chevrolet show, and I was, yes. I was the highest really? paid, I was the highest paid performer that was ever on, uh, as a guest on TV. 
And the reason being, in those days, you know, you never guessed it on anybody else's show. That was a no-no. You right. just really didn't. I said, well, you want to, you know, they, the office said, if you want to pay this much money, then we'll do it, you know. I never got to see much of it. I loaned it to Bob Hope, and that's the last I ever saw that movie. <laughs> no kidding. I go, didn't know you didn't have really, guest stars. really, I have loved this girl forever. And we go back. I've always had such an affinity for... But Dinah, we get along well. I think one of the reasons we don't see, see each other too often. Too often. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever we do, we have a lot of laughs. I remember one day at Riviera, we were playing, I was playing, I think either ahead of you or, well, I guess I can't tell the story. Oh, sure you can, come on. Got a, too clean? Uh, but you didn't, it was until you got hold of it. I, we, I was a little, all right, let's put it this way. What year was this? And I can tell you. This was, this was uh, what, 1912, okay? 1912. Anyway. Yeah, we're, we started using rubber balls then. Yeah. That's right. So we're playing, and I get up to swing, and there's a kind of a... Oh, right, right. And I'm a little overweight. And when I get overweight, I get overweight in certain spots, and, uh, you know, and I had on a... a Sweater. Yeah, you had a sweater. Had on a sweater. It was rather tight. Well, I didn't mean for it. It wasn't at first. So <laughs> I start to hit the ball, and Donald said, No wonder that poor thing can't take a full swing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you understand golf, but that means I could, I could not get... Oh. <laughs> yes, we sort of understand that. No, what I said was, if you want, to want the truth, I just said, How can you swing with those things? That's what I said. <laughs> That's not, that's not too bad. <laughs> we have a, a clip of you on Dinah's show. Yeah, do you really? Yes, I'm oh, not sure if this, if this was last year or if this is also from 1912. But <laughs> let's see what clip we have of the two of you together. We could be all so bright and groomish, skies could be so bluish blue. Life could be so love and bloomish if my itches did come true. As soon as I get my knees to... Get no, wait, back. I have yeah, my knees. knees. Can you teach right. me a soft shoe? Huh? Can you teach me a little soft shoe? Oh, a little, a little yeah. dancing? Yes. You mean I... Well, I did the tap dance. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I'd love to do a little dancing for you. I didn't bring my shoes or anything. So I just... Uh, I just can't... <laughs> yeah. I can take a hint. How fortuitous. It was right on cue, too, did right. you notice Well, it was that? kind of, kind it's of. On cue and on you. That's, oh. <laughs> that's oh, a great is... time. You know the wonderful thing. I'll, I'll just put these on real quick. Is the number you did, is Make Them Laugh like your all-time most favorite number, or is it just my all-time most favorite? I would think so, Make Them Laugh, because we had so much fun putting it together. I still watch that number, and my heart just you races. Well, that's what I was just... going to say, you know, when I came through here. That's the first time I've ever, I've ever come through the wall. I usually climb yeah, up them. <laughs> That's right. Or breakthrough. You know, I saw that the other night again. That is the finest, best, most inconceivably. It's wonderful. Oh, it's well done. Just wonderful. And funny. Funny. Yeah. That, that is. We did one too, Donald, if you remember on the show called. I don't know what happened. My feet got fat. <laughs> your feet got. Your feet and Dinah's chest. Yeah. And, yeah. and my butt. How's it going? Okay, we need a little music now. What do you want? What do you want to do? You're a better dancer know. than I am oh, for yeah, crying out loud. Right. I don't know. Oh, you've got, got taps and I got nothing here. What do we have? You bring it up a little bit. <laughs> you got it, baby. Shim sham. You do three, huh?
Oh, We're gonna take a little break, but now listen, since Dinah has written no less than three cookbooks, I picked something that I wanted to make that sounds really good to me, and our audience has a little surprise for you, Dinah, when we come back. A surprise? We'll be back, yes. Another surprise? Back in a yeah, you're gonna dance. Have you always dreamed of meeting your favorite star? Do you want to travel cross country to see your long lost love? How about hang gliding off the California coast? Well, whatever your secret desire, I want to make it come true. Just write to Vicki, Fantasies, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, room 1904, Burbank, California, 91523. If your fantasy is X-rated, keep it the hell to yourself. Carol, you baked this cheesecake. Mm, I can't believe you baked a cheesecake. Mm, this mm. tastes wonderful. Oh, I want seconds. Carol, I want the recipe. Mm, not me. I'll wait till they come up with a nice, easy mix. Mm. Right, a mix with real cherries. Come on. Honestly, Carol, this must have taken all day. Yeah, no wonder you didn't have time to do your hair. <laughs> Jello cheesecake, now with real fruit topping. You know, I hear Jello makes a good cheesecake. You come into my place, I want you to feel like you come into my home. But I think the whole appearance of the restaurant should be really, really top quality. Everything has to be white, 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 white. You're always spilling something. At the end of the night, sometimes it looks like you've been in a food fight. It seemed no matter what I tried, no detergent really got it clean. The power of Tide with Bleach. This regular detergent only gets it this white, but Tide with Bleach gets it whiter. After all, in this business, presentation is everything. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Absolute cleanliness. You can't get away with anything less. Every morning, Hal eats the same old Raisin Bran. But today, he's waking up to... Raisin Nut Bran! A hearty, nuttier taste. Take the raisin and the almond nut and, and put, them put them both together. Raisin Nut Bran! Nut raisins on a taste. Raisin Nut Bran! With almond, almond chunks and crispy flakes. Why stop at raisins when you can go... Nuts! Try Raisin Nut Bran cereal. I'm Little Loves, and I see Carrie is wearing a Loves Walker diaper. That's me! Right! Great on leaks. But I see Jamie isn't wearing a Loves Walker. Oh, no. Well, you should. Loves has a special leak guard system. No other diaper is better at keeping wetness from leaking out. So you'll love your Loves. For girls and boys, Loves gets to the bottom of leaks. What's new? What's next in the world of skin science? Watch for Vaseline Intensive Care updates. From Intensive Research comes Intensive Care. What's going to happen to my well, eyelashes? Well, here's what I'd like to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, That's, it's very loose. Yeah, it is pretty can, loose. Can I peek underneath? Of course. All right. This it's is the ball stupid. and the whisk we're going to be using. No. What about my eyelashes? <laughs> So ridiculous. Okay. However, there, I got him. How's that? Oh, it is loose. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, you can't be on what's my line Hello. of that. Hello. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you did like 2,000 of those things, didn't you? Yep. Oh, boy. Yeah. It Unbelievable. Felt like... I'll never last that long. <laughs> oh, no, it's you yes, have you... to. Yes, yeah. you will. My show today is in honor of Dinah Shore. She has, uh, she's certainly well, part of television been... history. And, well, you don't want to hear all that, do you? You no, won I don't. more awards play. than anybody. Okay. But you're going to cook for us now, which is my favorite thing. And my, I have your first cookbook, which has more stains on it, because <laughs> I love that cookbook. This recipe is from the newest, is this your newest cookbook? From the newest one, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what happened the last time she did this on her show? The None of those people survived. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see them around anymore, do you? No. Right. Well, we were talking about them a little while ago. You guys were right. Now, listen, before we start cooking, the audience has cooked up a little surprise for you. You ready, kids? One, two, three, go.
something extra for you when you leave tonight. Oh, oh, okay, well, now, what do we do here? I think they call them checks. C H E C K. And then right C. What's that, baby? Checks. Yes, what is yes. Minimal. <laughs> Show me how to make a pizza now. Do I get okay. to throw this up in the air? What you do? Stuff? This is called a thin crust pizza. I can see that. And you, it's a yeast dough, which is really much easier than it sounds. And what do you do is you, you try to get it as thin as you possibly can. I pull it out and roll it out, and then I put it on a board, and you get it as thin and thin, thin as you possibly can. Yeah, it, looks like, it looks like it looks like Johnny Weismiller's old loincloth. You know that. Don't you? <laughs> He's a, oh, I hope not. I hope Lord. not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I make a little bit of a doodad. What? A little oh. lip around. You're yeah. serious with this, You can you? make one. Yes! No. You can learn from this woman. Make a lip. She's my cooking guru. Really? Oh, yeah. I love her cookbooks. No, oh. I'm serious, you guys. The best stuff. Little did I know. Just make a little. Make a make little, a little lip. Cru see, like a little thing. I don't have thing. your fingers. Okay, I got a little thing on my Make a little crust. Yeah. Oh, I'm make a, make a little thing. That's right. Little thing. Make that, a little crust. You know what? I'm a good student. Not so big. You, you've got, see, that's got a hole of sauce. Okay. okay. I'm now, ready. you may, look, Vicki, yeah. why don't you make the pizza with the almonds and the brie? It's so now what do I have to do? Take this pizza down there brie. to where the almonds and the Take brie are? Take it where the almonds and the brie are. And I... <laughs> Fast. I'm going to make is. the one. Hey, we got it. Uh-oh. Hey. Yeah, sort of. Now... Well, yeah. I'm going to make the one, uh, you're going to make the one with all the stuff on it. Am I going to make the one with all the stuff on it? Yes, you're going to have Would peppers. Would you hand me all that stuff oh. on Wait, no, we're going, up there, we're going up there and throw it like she did. Oh, okay. See if you can stop. Well, we got that, right? We're, this is it, right? You know, we all had talk shows. Diana had hers forever. I, I had know, mine. I did, yours, I did yours, too. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Dinah, now the almonds and the brie I'll put, has I'll put just mine no. In. You don't do it. That, you do it neatly. The almond and the brie pizza has nothing but brie and almonds, almonds on it. Is that it? Brie, Wait a minute. I got. I that's have. It. I have some of my own thing. I've got. I got some jelly beans. We'll put it in there. <laughs> got that. You and I've got. Wait a minute. I got some more there. I got some zings over here. I got to throw in there. Wait till I get all the zings in there. What about the salami? The salami. We got enough ham. We don't okay, want to see your salami. <laughs> Little mushrooms for you. What did you say over there? I didn't there? say anything. It was dirty. I'm it was done. dirty what she just said. I'm finished. Would you pass the tomato sauce, please? Okay. And all those herbs sitting over there by them. No, just the sauce. Oh, just the sauce. Uh, Here's your herbs. Now see I got... all those fresh herbs sitting Would over there. Would you like these fresh herbs? You're supposed to say herbs, herbs now, aren't you? <laughs> there you go. I want a spoon. There's one down there. Oh, my and gosh. And I see olive. Yep. <laughs> Very particular. Olives. You mean after we fondle now, these listen. with our hands, you're going to use a spoon? I'm going to use a spoon. <laughs> How long do you bake these suckers for? Uh, I think it's about 15 minutes till the cheese melts and bubbles. Now, I've got a question for you. Oh, How do you God, get this, this little awful. thin crust off the stone and onto, I mean, off the thing and onto the... Well, it's not easy. So, okay. Does that answer? You think, think she'll be satisfied not, with that answer? This is not an easy thing to do. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then and you bake that for how long? Till it's it, yes. all melted. No, you look in the cookbook. I don't know what actually. to do with his. Would you take the jelly beans off of his? No, Maybe. he's screwing around. Here. Now listen, <laughs> you guys. But these are seriously good-looking pizzas here. Here we got this. the uh, the. Um, this is the one with all the stuff on it without the jelly beans. This is the way the brie and the uh, almonds come out there, and and pardon me, Dinah. I have a few. Just going under here for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one? Oh, that's a, that's a three cheese and three herbs. Three cheese Whoa. and three herbs. Well, now, that is, a, that would have been a good one. That was, Here, that kids, was taste Donald's. It. We're going to take a break now. We'll be back with more fun and surprises with Dinah and Donald. And listen, get your pencils and papers ready, because later on we'll show you where to get these recipes. If your husband had 15 affairs and told you it was a matter of life or death, would you believe him? This man wasn't happy doing this, and he was miserable, and he was suffering as much as I was. I tried to take the uh, shotgun and uh, 
blow my head off. On the next Maury Povich show, spend a day in the life of a sex addict. I needed this to survive. I needed this to live. Thoughts are sexual, all time sexual. I still am addicted to sex. On the next Maury, today at 1 on KCAL TV, California 9. I felt like a walking time bomb. My doctor said I wouldn't live to see my kids grow up. I weigh 260 pounds. I couldn't walk. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't do anything but eat. My weight was killing me, and I felt I was going to die. If you are 75 pounds overweight or more, the most important call you could ever make is the one that could save your life. Call 1-800-LIGHTLIFE now. In the heartland, we're working hard. In the heartland, right in your backyard. Only at Stater Brothers this week, pork butt country style strips are a real value at 97 cents a pound. Thompson seedless grapes are a sweet buy for 57 cents a pound. And stock up on delicious, healthy choice frozen dinners, just $1.99. In the heartland of California, in the heartland. Want an adjustable bed, but don't think you can afford one? Then you haven't priced Craftmatic adjustable beds recently. This Craftmatic Model 2 bed costs 50% less than these quality flat beds. 50% less. And this Craftmatic Model 3 is just 50% of the Model 2's low cost. 50%. Craftmatic Model 3 and 2 beds adjust to all these healthful positions, provide optional heat and massage, and total body support yet cost hundreds less than these quality flatbeds. Get our free catalog by mail, including information on Craftmatic 3s at 50% of Craftmatic 2s low cost. Hi, we'd like your free catalog and 50% information by mail. Certainly, sir. It's easy. Call for this free catalog right away. Call toll-free 1-800-282-5555. That's 1-800-282-5555 toll-free. Connor and uh, it is a thrill to have you both here. You you hang out a lot with those first family types, don't you? What can I tell you? What can I tell you? They get stuck for gifts, and every once in a while, <laughs> I don't. I haven't gotten into that stuff either. Wait a minute, Vicky. It'll come. You'll okay. Uh, we uh, have another clip of you from oh last year, I think, with oh, really? one of those first family types. Yeah. What did the governor give you? He gave me the state of Vermont. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, A little charm, right? I asked for Massachusetts and Vermont. Yeah. But um, well, he, he decided, you know, Maybe for not Christmas. to spoil me. Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't want you to get too used to yeah. getting exactly what you Just want. gave me Vermont. I knew it. <laughs> We'll just see what Hillary gets, won't we? <laughs> I'm not touching that with a... <laughs> you, but now, guess what? We have a surprise for you. You have? Yes, Mrs. Reagan is on the phone. Are you there? Hi, Dinah. Hi. Dinah? Yes. Hi. It's Nancy Reagan. Oh, oh Nancy. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm better now. How are you? I'm fine. Unfortunately, you this look... lifetime, he gave me more than Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Reagan, may I ask you, may I, Mrs. Reagan, is that what I call you? No, you call me Nancy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's easier. <laughs> well, I don't do this a lot, but oh, Nancy, Lord. when did you, when did you first meet Dinah? Do you remember? Oh, my heavens. Oh, Dinah. We, I met Dinah before I met my husband. That's true. Yep. Really? Uh -huh. That's true. true. Wow. Mutual Can't... friends. You girls were like teenage girlfriends, were you? That's right. Mm -hmm. Something really? like that. We were very young. <laughs> it was, it was in, in glorious Hollywood, and uh, we were at 
Jerry Wall's house. Right. For dinner, isn't that right? Right. And uh, I don't like to tell. She was dating somebody. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. She was dating somebody, and I was married to George, and it was all just absolutely heavenly and wonderful. And we had homemade ice cream, fried chicken, and biscuits. <laughs> you remember the menu? menu? My gosh. Gosh. Nancy, are you a cook? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, no, I, I guess. I mean, I could do a baked potato and a hamburger. <laughs> it's that's, pressed. That's probably why you look like you do, and, and we look right, like. That's why we. That's right. Or, that's probably why. No, I know. I know. I do go further than that. If 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 uh, if everybody could eat breakfast three times a day, I'd be fine. I mean, I could give you pancakes and waffles and eggs. Oh yeah. But that might get a little tiring three times there a day. There you go. Have you, has, now, has Dinah ever cooked for you? Oh, yes. I remember, oh, yes. What's your favorite thing she's ever fixed? Oh, dear. That's Anything hard. Anything she cooks is wonderful. We, Anything we she were, cooks. Black-eyed peas are so good. I mean, every, anything she cooks is wonderful. She sent me a cookbook, of which Dinah, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Nancy, what, you remember when we were in uh, Knoxville? Yes. And uh, uh, Chad Atkins sang? Yes. And I cooked a little something. Yes, I do. you and the president were there. I do. And Howard Baker and Joy. It was a nice party. Yeah, it was. It oh. was. It was. Well, and it how was is fun. Mr. Reagan, may we ask? Pardon me? How is Mr. Reagan? He's wonderful. Please because give him our love and thanks for calling in to say hi. I will. And Donald. Hi. The first lady of golf is going to attempt, and mind you, I said attempt, to teach me a thing or two about trying to get that little bitty ball into your little bitty hole with that great big club when we come back. <laughs> we'll be back. You know what they say, the family that sings together stays together. Meet musical families, the Osmonds, and Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr. on the next Vicky. For 66 years, America has depended on Craftsman tools. To celebrate, Sears is having a big anniversary sale. This Craftsman 7-drawer professional quality chest and cabinet, only $199.98. Plus hundreds of other Craftsman specials. Now at Sears. This dress is definitely dangerous. No matter what your favorite look. It, uh, hmm. It looks like, uh... Help keep that look by including Kellogg's Special K. Great toasted taste, 110 calories, and fat-free. I like what I'm seeing. Hmm. Kellogg's Special K. Great taste never looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you're looking for the type of oil, lowest in saturated fat, to cook foods like these, look no further. Chef Bert Wolf. It's all right here. 94% unsaturated Crisco Pure. With just one gram per serving, Crisco is even lower in saturated fat than olive or corn oil. Crisco looks light, and there's no heavy oily taste. Mmm. It's simple. For the type of oil lowest in saturated fat, there is nothing better. Cooks who know, trust Crisco. <laughs> You know, people who start chewing Freedent because it won't stick to most dental work keep chewing it because it tastes great. That's why they stick with the gum that won't. Non-stick Freedent, the perfect gum for almost perfect teeth. Carol, you bake this cheesecake. Mm -mm. I want the recipe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not me. I'll wait till they come up with a nice, easy mix. All right, a mix with real cherries? Come on. Jell-O cheesecake, now with real fruit topping. You know, I hear Jell-O makes a good cheesecake. And Dinah and Donald O'Connor are my guests today, and uh, you are a big golfer. Golfer fan. The, um... A fan? Fan. What is your handicap? 21. 
Oh, okay, so something for me to aim for. Yeah. <laughs> and the Nabisco Dinosaur uh, Tournament is going on as we speak. Yes? At this moment. Yeah, you've got to get your it butt is, back there. I know. It, it so, is the best tournament of its kind. Yeah. And it's one of four majors. Let's see, and it's, it's on for a, um, ABC, is that all right to say? Yeah, set okay. it. Okay. And it's for Nabisco, and it's for all the LPGA players. Have I plugged it? You have plugged it officially. Okay. Now, listen, I want you to give me a little putting lesson here. Oh, okay. But we have no clubs, and we need a caddy. Or some sort of something here. Well, there's going to be something. Ah, here we go now. Oh, look who's Thank here. You. Very nice. Well, well, well. Efficient. A little overdressed to be catty. Listen, I've got good news and bad news. The good, the good news is I brought you your putters, and the bad news is I just ran over Jay Leno. Oh. <laughs> anyway, oh, he was getting... But there's only one Jay Leno. You can get another putter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll swap with you. Right. Well, you kids you are going like to putt here, one? huh? I think I like this No, I think I like this one. <laughs> okay, now, what's the trick to putting here? Oh. You need some of those ugly Payne Stewart pants, I guess. Is what the first <laughs> trick, no. Okay. I feel like your local pizza man here. You want me yeah. to hold on to the uh, flag? How's that? Sure. But you have to stay still. Hold on to that stick. You have to look at the ball. I think yeah. that helps, doesn't it? It does help. You first look at the hole, then you look at the ball, and you try to line this up with that, okay. which is virtually impossible. Well, this is a nice level green. The grass seems to be growing. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Uh, Never leave short. it short. Guys. Never, never up, never, never in. Never leave it short. Again, okay, never up, any. never in. Words to now live by, girls. Vicky. <laughs> you heard it here. Yeah. Dinah said it. Ooh. All right, my turn. My turn. I get to try here. Here okay. we go. Okay, hey, line her up. Vicky, if yeah. you notice when we're swinging, you'll know what we were talking about earlier. <laughs> oh, this is good. I didn't even get anywhere. You're like, wait a minute. There we oh, go. Yeah. Call it. Wait, I'm trying. Do you mind if I move this one out of your line? Okay, here that we go. Here went we go. right in the Freddy the cord of his ear. Okay, here we go. I got it now. Yeah. Oh. 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 Thank you very much. We'll be back. Thank you. When I learned to cross the street to go to this delicatessen, that's when I started putting on weight. I've been on a diet since I was in third grade. I tried everything, every single diet imaginable. I would diet and exercise and lose weight, but then once I lost the weight, I would just go back to my old eating habits and I put the weight right back on. From the very first day I walked into Jenny Craig, I was learning to keep my weight off. I learned to control my portions and look at food in a different way. I learned that I was a picker, a binger, and an overeater. I learned to change my habits. I can handle any kind of eating situation. So here I am. I'm 30. I'm the same weight I was when I was in high school. And I'm in the best shape I've ever been. And it's all because of Jenny Craig. Celebrate the final week of our 10th anniversary and enjoy special savings. 10 weeks for just $10. Final week, call 1-800-92-JENNY. That's 1-800-92-JENNY. Your new Alpha Beta. When you want it, we've got it. You're really going to see a difference. Your neighborhood Alpha Beta has added thousands of new items, so you have a bigger, wider, better selection. Plus, we've got low prices on the basics, like Farmer Jim's Large Eggs. This week, 88 cents a dozen. And Alpha Beta has half-price coupons for kids' admission to Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus. Tell everyone the new Alpha Beta. So much variety, so many ways to save. <laughs> She's running a little sluggish today. The brakes don't sound too good either. At Econo Lube and Tune, you can count on low prices. Our trained mechanics will perform a complete diagnostic tune-up and change your oil without making you wait all day. We'll even fix your brakes. All of these great services with no appointment, no waiting, no kidding. Get it! Call 1-800-975-TUNE for valuable coupons worth up to $100. Econo Lube and Tune, the sign of great car service. Tetley Round Tea Bags, with more tea per bag and more taste per tea. But why is it round? 
your lips need special protection from the sun. Introducing Blistex Ultra Protection with SPF 30. This season, it's on everybody's lips. tell you where you can send in if you would like to get a copy of those recipes. I'm sure nobody knew what the hell we were doing that's while we true. were cooking. Well, all they know is that if they have a yeast infection, they can make this recipe. That's it's easy. Right. That's all that's they right. know right now. The only... So send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Dinah's Pizza, no, Cara no, no, Vicky. No, no, to Donald O'Connor for Jelly Bean Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the address is 3000 West Alameda Avenue, uh, room 2977 Burbank, California, 91523. And we will send you those recipes and tell you the correct way to do them. Or better still go out and get that book, because that's a great book. Uh, Donald, uh, tell us about Let's Tap. Where can we get that video? Well, the telephone number is 1-800-ASK-FOR-TAP. I think that's it. Oh, really? Okay, so well, there I it is. 1-800-275-4827. Right. Thank you, done very well. That just might like be Nancy's hostess. old number. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you know, and Nancy was trying to say hi to you on the phone, and we were also, the women were so busy yakking, we didn't hear her say hi Thank to you. She, she was she so did. sweet. She called me back, I and know she we, we talked there. She's a wonderful gal. And Dinah, the Nabisco uh, Dinah Shore Golf Tournament, will be watching on ABC. And thank you yes. so much for coming here. Oh. And you all have a wonderful day. We love you. Thank you. <gasps> hey. Wow! Room accommodations furnished by the Sheraton Universal Hotel, official hotel of Universal Studios Hollywood. It's the hotel of the stars, and so close to the action, you'll feel like a star yourself. BLS Limousines, serving Los Angeles and New York for over 14 years, can provide sedans and limousines for every special event. BLS Limousine, cars to the stars. Thank you, I'm Magnus. If you like what I'm wearing, kids, go get it there. Probing, insightful, and compassionate. He's Jerry Springer today at 11 on KCAL. Sally Jesse Raphael is next on Channel 9. Good morning, I'm Paula.